All right, I just want to say a few things here about this gold currency model. And then uh, that I, you know, I have said it in other videos, I think, but this one I'm going to just go ahead and make sure I've said it here. <clears throat> so the maximum, the maximum um, purchase, you know, that you can allow for <clears throat> or the maximum, you know, withdrawal, I would say, you know, you would want to put it probably around half a million dollars. And that would be for your best clients that you absolutely, they have so much money that you just know that, you know, they're going to end up doing something where, or they have made specific, you know, requests that, you know, half a million dollars <sighs> needs to be available to them at any time to make a purchase of that size for whatever. And I think that's reasonable. You tell them, okay, if it's going to be more than half a million dollars, you need to let me know in advance. And I'll, um, you know, we'll we'll make preparation. So basically, what that means is that, basically, what that means is that half million dollars is your cost of business, and part of your cost of business, and that's that's as an arrangement with the seller to let them know that whenever we need money for, um, you know, for you to buy gold, then we're gonna tag your checking account for X amount of dollars but at the same time you're tagging our checking account you know our, our clients checking accounts um, for um, X amount of dollars as they are putting that cash and that money into their checking accounts to, in, via deposits in order for you to sell them gold. So the way that it works is that they can be net sellers of gold or they can be net buyers of gold. It just depends on the day. But I'll just tell you like this. It's going to be a setting where they become net uh, sellers of gold. Maybe on you know uh, Black Friday they'll be a net buyer of gold and um, through Christmas, maybe various days, there might be days that um, they might end up being net buyers of gold, but that's going to be around the holiday season when their inventory is running out so fast to jewelers and everything else um, that they're going to be really interested in getting getting hold of some gold around that time. And so they're going to be happy and, and generous, and the arrangement is just going to be a match made in heaven. And so, so there's that. I just wanted to make sure you understand that it is a it's a very good relationship. It's a very healthy, satisfying, desirable relationship for the currency and the seller of the gold. And it's a match made in heaven. And I also wanted to say, you know, whenever you get into the market, you've got all this gold. That's when you have to start making money. But the good thing about it is that your inventory cost is being, is being covered by the depositors. Therefore, you aren't in the same position as a lot of your competitors where they've had to take out loans to get gold, to mint gold, and then sell gold while paying off those loans. So you should be in a tremendously competitive advantage as far as just being able to mint the gold. And then, you know, it's it's supposed to be something that people can buy at spot or near spot, you know, that's the whole point of it, and if you can't do that, and you can't deliver that, then, you know, you're not... It's just a huge competitive advantage on price, and um, in a market where the average person isn't looking for it to do anything special other than, you know, be worth what you're paying for it. Um, it's just a huge competitive advantage, for sure. I just want to mention on the... On the mining side, you have the captured market already. So they, you know, that's just a value add. I mean, for the deposits that you can deliver can become so huge because you're getting everything in checkings, you know, all of that, you know, all the deposit, my whole paycheck, my whole yearly earnings.